What is up, y'all? I'm your girl, Carolita, and we are at Bottle Rock with Digital Media, and I have a very special guest, Teddy Swims. How are you? Oh, terrific. Thanks for having me. <laughs> so this isn't your first festival that you did. This is multiple festivals that, that you have done. Are you excited about this festival today? Yeah, I'm very, very excited. And, you know, I hear a lot about Bottle Rock, and so uh, just stoked to be in Napa Valley. Never been to Napa Valley before, so this is new. And you have been to, like, Northern California, though? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, yeah. yeah. Um, what song are you ready to perform today? Are you going to do any covers, your famous covers? Um, yeah, we actually are doing a cover on our main set today. Uh, we're going to do Journeys Don't Stop Believing, so I'm excited about that all the time, obviously. Uh, what is your favorite cover that you have covered on YouTube? Because I know there's like really, really popular ones. What is your favorite one that you like covering? Um, we, we, we plan on, in our acoustic performance here in a minute, uh, doing Still the One by Shania Twain. is probably one of my favorites of all time. and. Uh, you know, I just that, that song is always dedicated to my mother wherever she is in the world. So I just uh, love, you know, love to just makes me feel like I'm with her, you know, every time I hear that song. So, what is your favorite genre? Because I see that you cover a lot of genres. What is your favorite genre? Um, I, I think I think genres have this ability to uh, navigate an emotion better than another particular genre, if that makes sense. So, uh, I just say I like music that you uh, that you can cry or make love to. You know, that's it. I can tell by the songs that you sing. I was, um, I really love what is the the bed one. I for, I'm bed on, bed on fire. I'm just like it. It brings out emotions that I'm just like, okay, do I want to listen to this right now? Though, <laughs> because it's like it's like sad, but it's like it brings out the emotion in me. Um, what did you? What sparked the feeling for you to go from football into musical theater in tenth grade? What was that feeling? Um, my best friend Jesse, uh, he's he's here with me. He still plays with me, and uh, he's been my best friend since I was in the sixth grade. So his family kind of got us in the theater, and uh, his older sister did it. And his dad was always in bands, and so um, I just remember the first time I ever auditioned. I was just so terrified and scared to death. Like, kind of just stood and looked at the floor, and so different than what I am now. You know, getting used to it and loving it, but. Uh, I know, I just knew the first time, the first show I ever did in, in high school was a show called Damn Yankees, and that just changed, I mean, it maybe had two two lines in the whole show, you know, but my mom was like, baby, this is where you belong, you're a superstar, you know, and so i just lucky to have great parents that uh, always believed in this, and I don't know, it's just when you know, when you, you get it, and you find the love, and you get the bug for something, you just know your life's never going to be the same, and so that really was what happened for me. That's how I was, too, with the um, radio, but... I was 28, <laughs> not in 10th yeah. grade. <laughs> um, you're going on tour of the UK soon. What is going to be, what country are you most excited about visiting? Um, I always, I always love England. Man. I love, I love the city of London. I think it's so beautiful. And, uh, you know, we, we, uh, last time we were in Europe, I, we got to go through Paris kind of, but most times on tour, we, we just see the left and the right of the venue and like, okay, what a beautiful city. So we don't really get to do a whole lot. So I'm hoping this time around, when we get to, when we get to Paris or when we get to Hamburg or, you know, anywhere in Europe, I'd, I, I, I'm hoping that I get to like really see some sights and go see some things and not just the inside of the venue. Right. Did you um, at least get a week off before you go to the next place? If you're oh, never, no, never, no? <laughs> never. We don't get that kind of time. <laughs> I know the music music moves fast. Um, what is the most important thing that you have learned on your journey? Um, to not compare myself to someone. I find that especially someone that came up doing covers and, and went into original music that uh, I, I, I covered some of the best songs that I think are ever of all time, you know, and it's, it's hard to uh, follow up that and think that you have to be of this caliber or you're not of this caliber or um, I just have to be grateful for my inspirations and not hold myself accountable to trying to be as good or I don't know. I feel like I'll never get there, you know. And so I just I, I try to learn all the time to just take my take my wins where I get them and enjoy them more instead of being so face forward and focused on the wrong things, you know. Just just try to take my wins as I get them and and really enjoy them and really take time to I guess smell the roses if that makes sense. Right. That's really hard, especially in this industry. Yeah. I have learned that too. I'm just like I'm I'm not there, but getting At least there. Take a shot for a win. You know what I mean? Take take one single shot if you got to and keep it moving. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your biggest influences are Al Green, Stevie Wonder, and Marvin Gaye. If you could collaborate with any one of those three, who would it be? Um, Stevie Wonder uh, for me, and he's he's still here. So uh, mm -hmm. I hope I hope you know before he gets too old. It would 
him and Paul McCartney are on my list of people that I got to, got to before they get too, too old and, you know, aren't here any longer. But they still got plenty of time looking at the way they're living, so. Right. Have you tried to get in contact with any of them? I have not yet. No, I have <laughs> It's not. It's not like uh, they're like of our generation where I could just reach out on Instagram and say, right. "Hey, Stevie, what's up, bro?" Yeah. I, mean, I don't think he's actually. I don't think he would be running his social media, even, <laughs> given, given the circumstance. <laughs> but you know, it's Stevie Wonder is like an iffy. I have see, heard stories about him just like knowing people and them not knowing that they knew him. So you, you might that be, be able. That would be incredible. <laughs> I would. I would. I would. I would love to know that he even heard of me at all. It would be just uh, incredible to me. Uh, do you have anybody else like a rapper or like um, I was thinking like Morgan Wallen I feel like you should make a song on Morgan I Wallen to, I, I got a chance to meet him one time he seems like a nice fellow but uh, as far as the rap goes Lil Wayne is my hero Ooh, he's my I when I when I was a kid <laughs> Carter 3 is one of the top five albums of all time for me and uh, why I got my eyelids done because when I was a kid I was like I just want my eyelids done that fear got I have my ta I, eyelid tattoos just only because Lil Wayne did oh it so God. I love him he's the best of that, ever that, that's a good one I was thinking um also maybe like Cardi B or Lotto because also you did the oh, great yeah, yeah they sure are great yeah. and you made the hot dog thing I'm like I cannot eat that I don't know what you were thinking we I couldn't a few spices though we missed a few things but added some habaneros so you know maybe maybe it's equivalent i don't know <laughs> raw hot dog though i don't i can't do that yeah it's not good <laughs> i heard every one of them takes like 10 seconds off your life or something or, or really? is that cigarettes i don't know which, which what it is. <laughs> i mean they probably have the same chemicals yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. well thank you for your time that is all the time that we have and we are here with teddy swims thank you so much oh, no thank you so much bye this is digital media and i'm carolita